Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 29th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving an update on space weather, world weather, and earthquakes. Looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms on the sun. No new events since yesterday's update. Just still observing three active sunspots re- uh, right now that are turning out. And that's about it. Not much to report with our sun. That earth-facing sunspot right now is quite a big one. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, no new cresting sunspots still. And looking at outgoing. Looking at that minor C-class flare just reported today. And M-class, C-class, the the last 48 hours on the sun. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the events, plus the coronal holes. I'm going to be watching this sunspot region here as it turns out. And as well, we do have an earth-facing equatorial coronal hole. So we can expect those solar winds over the next 24 to 36 hours. And that's a look at our sun the last 48 hours. Quieting down. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, you can see off the backside there was a minor CME towards the Parker Solar Probe. Other than that, no new events to show. Solar X-ray flux is pretty low. B-class range right now. Geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated. And that's due to this. Our solar winds just peaked here up to 40, 422 kilometers per second. But it's the density bunches that are really picking up here. Coming in at 25 or 27.36 just a little while ago. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 15. And this is how our graph looks for today. Which is slightly down from yesterday. Power of 15, quality of 11. Now let's get to earthquakes here where it's been a busy 24 hours across the planet. Looking at the map right now, largest was reported here. 7.3 Timor-Leste, Indonesia, at 150 kilometer depth as well. Pretty deep aftershocks through the region, all over 150 kilometer depths. Pretty deep earthquake here reported. Lavuka, Fiji. 4.6 at a 544 kilometer depth and as well another deep one here Vanuatu so a lot of deep movement right now as well activity up into Alaska here at two station Alaska 5.7 and as well minor aftershocks through the region all the activity coming back to Japan even Taiwan there But then we get to North America here, increased seismicity up into Petrolia, California, largest reporting 3.6. But also, we have a pretty rare earthquake here to report. A 6.1 struck Indiana. But I wanted to show you here first our large 7.3 earthquake Indonesia, the Banda Sea, which is pretty much the antipode to where the 6.1 earthquake struck in the United States today reported four hours ago southern Indiana at a depth of 479 kilometers wow as well Quebec reporting a 4.3 there give you a close view as to exactly where this earthquake was reported and I haven't had many people coming into the live stream saying they felt that earthquake but Indiana right in the middle of the New Madrid Rocking a 6.1 earthquake. Wow. And you can see it's already released some pressure for the Dominican Republic. Only a couple earthquakes there. San Antonio de los Cobros, Argentina, reporting 200 kilometer depth, 4.5. As well, Greece, seeing a 5.7. Crete, Greece at a 70 kilometer depth, followed by 5.1. 4.3 there. Owen Fracture Zone. 
as well a 5.0 port blair india 101 kilometer depth yet again another deep one king high china reporting a 5.1 and as well the north pole zemla a 4.9 earthquake so yeah very busy earthquake map right now having a look at the last seven days across the planet we're seeing a lot of deep earthquakes and mostly in the last 24 hours so heads up everybody we can always expect larger shallower earthquakes to follow and all across the united states it is buzzing right now from the new madrid over to the san andreas fault and up into the pnw in the cascades so heads up have a plan let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated today hunga tonga as well, many tornado warnings going out across the United States as forecasted. Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Shevelich in Russia, Swiss in Ajima, Japan, Asenge in Ecuador, Nevada's to Ruiz, Colombia. And that's about a nine volcanoes getting updated today. Stay tuned this week coming up for the volcanic activity report and as well planetary positioning. Looking at the United States satellite imagery right now showing earthquake or sorry tornado watches that were going out from Arkansas up into Indiana pretty much. Tennessee. So extreme weather as forecasted heading through central south United States as well winter storm Warnings reported here, Western United States, as forecasted. Stay tuned to the daily updates, and you will be in the know. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, still a pretty big system forming just west and south of Hawaiian Islands, and large low-pressure system over Kamchatka. Let's get to the five-day forecast, brought to you by Media Earth and daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here, home base, Ontario, Canada, where, yeah, we still have above seasonal temperatures, but that's up until this five day forecast. Looks like cold temps are moving in after this Colorado low. The Colorado low will be bringing rain, southern Ontario, and snow to north and central eastern Ontario. And look on the backside, minus double digits here in some areas through the U.S. As that cold polar vortex heads southward. Overlooking western parts of the country, still very cold temps being recorded. Extreme cold warnings going out. Very dangerous conditions through Alberta, Saskatchewan. And as well, dangerous conditions will be forming here along the B.C. coastline as this big low rips down the coastline and we'll be bringing a lot of snow with it even falling out into the ocean could be a big slushy soupy mess in the northeast pacific in the long range high pressure ridge building over utah overlooking europe still got a low trapped in the mediterranean we'll be heading towards the arabias and as well low pressure systems here coming out of the Atlantic and the North Atlantic. One, two, three systems this week for Central and Eastern Europe. Pretty much following the high pressure ridge over Spain. Heavy snowfall through Turkey this week. And as well, heavy rain and flash flooding alerts for parts of Pakistan and Qatar. Overlooking Southeast Asia. No major weather systems affecting you. Overlooking Russia, still very cold polar vortex hanging out. Minus 51 in some areas. Pretty big systems here coming out of Japan. And they've seen some heavy snowfall over the last couple days. A lot of videos coming out of Japan as they had quite a blizzard go through. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia. Daily evaporation rains, nothing much to report there. Except for a system here heading into the South China Sea, long range. Overlooking Australia, pretty warm this week. And looks like this tropical system is going to be racing along the coastline, eastern parts of Australia. 
long atmospheric river stretching up into Fiji, over to, to Papua New Guinea. We've got this lingering system here that will be bringing some rain to Hawaii for the weekend. Not much to report here over South America. Daily evaporation rains. No major weather systems affecting you. Overlooking Africa, same thing. No major weather systems. Not much to report coming out of Africa right now. Daily evaporation rains. That's about it. And a lot of rain falling in Madagascar. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the major lows affecting our planet right now. And there are some big vigorous ones in the Northern Hemisphere as posted and forewarned. So stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily events worldwide. Bye-bye now. Much love and prayers for humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.